Also, do I look composed? I slept in my car last night. I was doing that thing again. Like, very... Okay. So not well. <laughs> I don't look well either. I'm a film major. Oh, we all wreck ourselves for this, right? We wreck ourselves for this place. That's what this is. I guess that's why we're here to talk about this. It's like, why are we doing this? Let's just go outside and go for a walk. That'd be ideal, honestly. It'd be really nice. I think that should be, we, we need like recess again, you know? They're just like, oh, if you want exercise or getting outdoors, oh, you got to nice. plan it on your own time. <laughs> all right. We need recess. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that statement. I even have a little love for you. I guess. Do, do you want like the cable out of the shot? Do you want it behind and wrap? I mean, this is literally being recorded, so I can edit people. Yes, yes. Um, but, yeah. All right. Okay. But, okay. Also, what are the questions like prior? Am I allowed to know or are we going to go like free like? Uh, no, yeah. We're, we're really going to put you through it. Okay. Um, and I'm allowed to curse? Oh. Okay, because sometimes I don't know when it's happening. You can just tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, say your name for me. Okay. My name is Corey Johnson. I'm a fine arts student at CCAD, and I have been dabbling in just about everything I can. 2D, 3D, and then I don't even know what 4D is, but if it's there, I'm going to participate. <laughs> <laughs> I have been working a lot with wood as my main material and kind of doing this reflection of mortality and the process of grieving. And I've been finding that nature, like going out to the forest is actually the most healing place that I could go to. Like during this time, it's how I take care of myself. And so I'm trying to figure out how to bring the care part of my practice in and like merge the worlds. Uh, and how do I also make the, the white wall gallery space a little more dirty, I guess, in terms of me bringing in soil, found pieces of wood, and you know, bringing my experience and my happiness, like what I take joy in in life, and bring it to, to the world if I can. So you're sharing a piece of yourself with everyone else? Yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> can you tell me a little bit about that? Like, how does it, how does it feel? Because when you're sharing yourself, as an artist, you're, you're sharing um, your best parts, your worst parts, your most vulnerable parts. How do you share that with other people without um, feeling like other people uh, take that as the only aspect of who you are? Like, how do you, how do you share yourself without letting that be your defining factor? Mm. I'm trying to figure out how to just be as honest as possible, but without it, like, all external factors of like what the world expects of you in terms of the contemporary art world and then also just being like true to yourself because you're going to adapt and change as time moves along and you're going to change as a person and your ideas are going to change because we're learning and we're also interacting with life and you're going to respond like how you will so when it comes to fine art there does have to be some boundaries that you have to place but also have to be able to like kind of give and take and not let it completely overtake your creative impulses if that makes any sense to it's weird to to put a piece of bark up on a pedestal and be like this is art and i can say that <laughs> it's like challenge me i'll i'll tell you why this thing is important and i guess that's the thing it's just like it's not so much that i'm trying to like dictate anyone else's point of view it's just that just look at that I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to these things like i kind of want to share that just like it's kind of yeah it's kind of like going on a walk and then you see something that's really interesting and you're just like it's a funny shaped uh piece of wood right there you know we can we can dissect this for hours it doesn't have to be anything like huge or monumental it could be something so small and, and nothing you know but it's not nothing it's something that exists the same way that you're existing there in that space. I don't know if I'm getting too far away from, I guess, the original intention of this. Yeah. <laughs>